this is the enclosure that we're trying to do. And I want to start with a prediction. Namely, I would like you to predict what you think is going to happen in this study. Here's the setup. All these vents on the outside, these are all lids. Uh, and those lids are open to the atmosphere. And uh, this transformer is generating 100 watts. So what's going to happen? Obviously, that's going to get hot, right? Um, my thoughts are free convection is going to be developed. Heat is going to rise, and it's going to make these components here, these three components, get really hot. Um, this one might not get so bad, right? This one shouldn't be a problem. I'm not thinking there's going to be any issues over here uh, by this. I'm assuming that's a capacitor. Um, the heat will continue up, and it might create problems on the circuit board. So we've got a few things that we're concerned about. We're concerned about the transformer getting too hot, not being cooled enough. We're concerned about the other components getting too hot around it because each of those has uh, its own maximum operating temperature. Um, and I just kind of want to understand what's going on with the flow. Maybe we will learn something about setting this up or rearranging this so that uh, we could run a different orientation or a different configuration. Now, before we actually hit the solve button, right, we'd come up here and hit run and we can solve this thing, we need to give Flow some more information. And specifically, we need to give it goals. That's something we didn't do last time. Goals, a lot of times people think about goals as being this thing that you use to create measurements, right? If you set up a goal, then you have the ability to measure that value later. And that's partially true, but that's not what goals focus on. Flow simulation is unique in the industry as having goals-based convergence criteria. And so what you'll do is you'll set up goals that are sensitive to the values you care about in the study, and it will solve until those values are you know, finished. Let's, let's talk about a really simple example. If you're boiling water, the indication that you've achieved your goal of boiling water is that the water starts to visibly boil. It's, it's simple, right? What is the indication, however, that it's 90% of boiling temperature, right? You've got some guesses and some clues, but you don't really have definitive information, right? You don't have a hard stop where you can stop late, you can stop early, but once, as long as you stop after the boiling has started, you've achieved your goal of, of boiling water. But everything before that is a big gray area, right? Now that's just one thing, the temperature of the water achieving a set goal. In this case, we care about the temperature of the various different components, but we also care about the fluid flow. Now, that means when the fluid starts to move in free convection, we may get really well-developed fluid flow, and we may look at the velocity and say, this is a very well-developed and fully solved study based on the movement of the air. But what we're really going to see is this thing continues to heat up until it reaches steady state with the temperature. So we need to tell it, we want it to develop the free convection parameters as well as all the thermal parameters they're going to be required to make sure we know we have fully converged and reached a solution. So let me show you how that works. First thing I'll always generally do is create global goals. Uh, these global goals would give you something important for the overall system. So for example, if this is a valve, I would say I want to know the static pressure min or max. Maybe I want to know the mass flow rate or the volume flow rate. These are great values because that tells you that the behavior through the valve is, is well understood. For this one, I want to come in and just say I want to look at the velocity and I want to look at the maximum velocity. And if the maximum velocity has been established and it's not fluctuating going up or down or it's not continuing to climb, if it's reached convergence, I feel comfortable that that is now uh, the convergence of the free air uh, or, uh, or free convection. I may also want to do another one. Like I'm going to say uh, the temperature of the fluid will do maximum and average temperature of the fluid. Again, we just want to make sure that even once the temperature of the transformer has been achieved, that the maximum and average temperatures have sort of stabilized out so that we're not dealing with any kind of warm-up 
uh, parameters, right? We're looking for a true steady state, and steady state may not really achieve until a whole bunch of other things uh, are fully resolved. Um, I could do some solid temperature goals, but I'm not going to do that in the global goals. I'm going to do that with a volume goal. So with a volume goal for this, I'm going to say I want to do the temperature, not of the fluid, I want to do the temperature of the solid. And sometimes you got to scroll down a little bit. Let's do max and average temperature of the solid, right? And for that one, I'm just going to grab this transformer. Actually, let's not even do the average. Let's just do the max. Uh, the, the conduction on here is probably plenty good. So we'll do the max there. And then I'm going to do one more surface goal. Not surface goal. Uh, one more volume goal. It's almost always a surface goal that I do whenever you're doing fluid flow, like through a valve, because you pick your you know your, your boundaries to make sure you check flow rate for a pressure opening or pressure for a flow rate opening. Uh, in this case, I'm doing volume goals because I want to know for any of these devices, right? These are all electronic devices of some kind. For any of these devices, do we ever reach an unsafe level of operating temperature? And so for that, again, I'm gonna come in and choose temperature of the solid max. And that's gonna tell us if we're dealing with any issues that are gonna create a safety and reliability problem. Now these goals are here, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna say max uh, transfer former temp. I'm going to rename these a little bit because some of these aren't going to be really obvious, right? This is max uh, uh, device temp because global average temperature, that's obvious, but max transformer temperature versus max other device temperatures, that's much more important. 